hi everybody and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. Well you've just caught me in the middle of styling these two Scots pine trees and you can see I've styled one in the informal upright style putting some really wacky bends in it and really trying to add some extreme curves to it. So yeah this should be a really interesting tree in the future. And then of course we have this one which is more of a cascade. It's been styled in a very curvy snake-like cascade style of course with the pads just at, you know, near the base. So again, that should be a very interesting tree in the future. Now, I will be repotting both of these, uh, probably nearer to the back end of March, because the vibes haven't yet burst on these, so that'll be for an upcoming video. But what I did want to do in this video is tackle these two trees, which are both European larches, and they are breaking bud, so are in need of a repot. Right, so I have two pots picked out that I hoped that I'd be able to get these trees into. Uh, again, these are the ones that I picked up from the local potter and I have drilled holes in the bottom. Uh, so somebody actually left a comment in one of my most recent videos saying that these look like breakfast bowls and I guess they do, I guess they do. Yeah, for bonsai they make, they also make fantastic bonsai pots. Right, so let's take a look at tree number one. Now will this come out of the pot? And it does, easily. So. When I received these trees, they were originally grown in a nine centimeter flower pot or plant pot. And I potted them on into a very gritty compost with the aim of growing them a lot bigger and, and a lot taller. So using my little root rake here, all I'm gonna do is just tease away the soil. So you can see we're beginning to find a little root ball. So that's our, little, that's our little root ball. Now a lot of root has come off. If you can see this is rotten. It, it just squashes, you know, just a squidgy and, and rot, it's rotten. It just shows you, this is the reason why we don't grow our bonsai trees in pure compost. Because a lot of these roots are, they're just gone. They're completely rotten and squidgy and just fall apart in your hand. So this is our remaining root base. Uh, some <laughs> interesting roots, <laughs> very interesting roots. So we can see the tip of that root there, that's a nice white root, and then the tip of that is black, get rid of that. The tip of that one is black. All of these roots near the bottom here are very soft and black. Let's get rid of that one, don't that. Cut it back to the living part. Uh, you can see this, this here is rotten. There's, there is a white, a white root just there, the start of a white root just there, so get rid of that one. This one is black and soft, get rid of that one. Right, so then we need to make a decision as to what we're going to do about these weird roots. So we can see this funny root here starts in here, just in, in that little groove just in there, comes out, goes up, around, and then into the soil. Now, there's no way that we can turn that into a, a feature of the tree or an attractive feature of the tree. I mean, whichever position you had this, even if you had it as a sort of cascade type tree, yeah, it just, there's no way that that is going to work. So for that, the pruners are going to have to come in, cut that loop away just there, and then cut that off in there and that's gone. Yeah, what a mess of roots. This is always the problem when you buy trees from a garden nursery that aren't designed, well, they're, they're, no tree is designed to be a bonsai, but, you know, they haven't been trained to be a bonsai. Now, I'm not liking this root here. Uh, there's a root coming off of that, which isn't very good. This one is alive. Um, yeah, I think we will keep it as that because I don't want to take any more root off. I would like this tree to, to live. Yeah, well, I think we'll get some bonsai soil ready and mixed up and uh, plant this little tree up into its new home. Right, so in some previous videos, I have said that I am planning on changing my bonsai soil mix. And this is it. So this is the new mix that I'm planning to plant all of my future trees in. Now, this is a mixture of 
perlite, vermiculite, pine bark, compost, and grit. So the ratios are basically 25% perlite, 25% of a perlite and vermiculite mix, because I buy these pre-mixed in, in big sacks. Then 10% uh, fine grit, which is very fine grit. 10% um, pine bark, which is kind of coarse bits of pine bark, which for some trees or for some pots might be a little bit big, but we just have to break that up as we go. But I just mix it up as it, as it is. And then the rest, the extra 30% is compost, just regular compost. Right, so all I'm going to do, I think I use this part for this tree and then we'll use the other pot for the other one. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we do. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a little piece of drainage screen just in the bottom, just to cover the hole. And then if I just reach down here, just to get some soil, I'm just going to put that into the bottom of the pot, just like so. Just break up any clamps as you go. And some of these bits of bark, see this is the only problem with this, is some of these bits of bark may be a little bit too big, but if they are, you just get the scissors and just cut them up as you go. I mean, you could argue that you should do that before you make the mix, but if I'm mixing up uh, kind of soil for bigger trees and bigger pots, then having clamps that big probably won't do a lot of harm. And then that just fills the bottom of the pot just like so. And then we need to position this. Now, with a round pot like this, it doesn't matter too much about front, back, side, side, because it's a round pot. Uh, all we're worried about at this stage is root development. And uh, this tree is not a healthy tree. So let's just position that just in the pot in such a way that we can promote healthy radial root growth. And I think just just like that is fine. Just reach down here to get a bit more soil. Let's put it into the pot just like so. Work it around. I will use the chopstick. It's just over here. Just to poke that in. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of roots to poke this into anyway, but we're uh, got to do what we can for this little tree. And hopefully it does recover. I mean, it is, an, it is a larch, so larches generally are pretty resilient. They can tolerate a lot. So it has enough healthy roots on there to, to survive and recover. That is that done. And I think that's nice and firm in the pot. It's not going to go anywhere, so we'll keep it like that, give it good water, and hopefully it should recover and grow well for us. Right, so tree number two. Now, how will this one look? I mean, this one is a lot more green. A lot more of the shoots or the buds are popping on this one. So I do suspect the roots on this one are going to be a whole lot more healthier. So we just rake away the soil in much the same way as we did the last one. So it looks as though we have a much better root system on this one. Not as many rotten roots, uh, a better root base. Still a little bit, a little bit interesting, a little bit funky, but yeah, a lot better than the other one. So after a dunk in the bath, this is what we're left with. So uh, yeah, uh, we have a lot more roots than the last one, a lot more healthier roots. Um, now the question is, with a tree like this, where do we want our root plane to be? Now we have this root coming out from here, which is a bit high when you compare it to the roots on the other side. So I think that one has to go. Let's get rid of that one. And come in there like so and get that off. Like so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this, this knob here. So let's get the concave cutters. Come in here and just cut this off, just like this. And just like this. And that has created a bit of a wound, but this will heal over just fine. Uh, yeah, where do we go from here? We have a root that comes, it comes down and then almost at a right angle, straight under the root ball. You can see it comes over here. Now we might be able to take this and bring this out, possibly. I think we might. I think we might not be able to do that sort of thing. So much the same way as the last tree, we're just going to use the pot, just put a bit of drainage screen just in the base, just to cover the hole, and then with a bit of soil or a handful of soil, just put that in the base, uh, maybe a little bit more as a stick in here. We don't want the stick. And then with that, we can just place our tree, position that, just try to position these roots into somewhat of a radial root pattern. So this was our root that we were going to use as a surface root in the future. So I'm just going to push that down. 
And I'm just going to get a handful of soil and just backfill this, just like so. And I'm just going to use the chopstick here just to poke this in. There aren't too many roots on these trees anyway, so um, we don't need to go too too heavy with this. And then just hold in the tree in place, take a bit more soil, push that around the front. Oh, that root has popped up. Let's push that back down. Now, I know a lot of people be saying, why don't you wire your trees into the pot? Well, I, I've, I've explained this on some previous videos, and that is, if you do, you risk the, the possibility of wire marks on your roots. And uh, wire marks on branches is one thing, and they might grow out as the tree matures. Wire marks on your nabari is a very different thing, and that can be slightly more problematic to, well, to overcome. I mean, it can, and of course your roots do grow much the same way as the branches, but it's not the best thing. And I just think that if you are concerned about your tree falling out of the pot or being knocked out of the pot, just use stones. Just use stones or rocks. Just temporarily put them on your pot just to hold the tree in place and give it maybe a month, maybe a few weeks to maybe up to a couple of months just for the roots to develop and establish themselves in the pot and that should be enough and they will the tree will grow just fine so thanks for joining me on this one kind of a, a challenging one this one i mean this is always a problem when you buy trees from garden centers or garden nurseries, you never know quite what you're going to get. You never quite know how the roots are going to be. And sometimes you just have to go with it and just hope that over time you can develop those surface roots and just end up with a nice nabari on your bonsai tree over time. So yeah, these are certainly going to be one for the future. Hopefully these put out a lot more buds and shoots and branches and things over the upcoming year. And um, yeah, they become some very nice trees. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, take it easy, have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.